Okay, this video is to demo uh, the new head tracking setup that I made uh, using a Wiimote uh, I2C camera. That's the camera on the front of a Wiimote. Uh, a couple of Netuinos, uh, an Xbox 360 controller, uh, a couple of infrared LEDs. These are the uh, this is the head tracking headset. Um, you'll see there are three infrared LEDs on the end here. When I turn the power on, you can see uh, kind of a muted purple color that um, is the infrared light. Uh, humans can't really see it, but cameras can. Uh, when I hold that up in front of this, which is the camera and microcontroller setup, you can see that it lights the blue light to let me know that it can see three infrared dots. If I cover up one of those dots, the light goes out, any one of the dots, so it needs to see three to light that blue light. Uh, this is connected over Zigbee with these XB uh, transmitter receivers to this setup, which is actually mostly a battery um, with a microcontroller plugged into the Xbox 360 controller. Um, the best way to show it off is to just go ahead and play the game. Um, over here I have a computer that's also listening on the same XB signal so that it can visualize um, the, the three dots as they're being seen. Of course it's not on. Okay, plug that back in. Okay, there we go. So that, that shows the direction that the camera thinks that the headset is pointing at and it tracks pretty quickly. Right, let me just get, move over here and we'll go ahead and start the game so you can see it in action. Okay, and we're going to get in a game here. And we can see that the uh, camera is tracking the headset. If I move left or right, it can see accordingly. I want to have to cover this up a little bit. Okay, here we are in game. Okay, so when I move my head left, when I move my head right, it tracks along with it. You can see that without touching the controller I can move a little bit to the right or really quickly to the right same thing with the left side you know so it's pretty fast and your your mind is pretty good at at figuring out how much you have to turn your head in order to make yourself do a 180 so let's go ahead and play you notice I'm not really controlling the direction he's moving with the joystick I'm just controlling it with my head so I can go more left or go more right and it tracks along right with it um, I also made it so that when you pull the trigger it switches from head tracking to joystick tracking so you have the tactile functionality of aiming that will be very exact. Aiming with the head tracking um, is just very, uh, it's like a blunt force. You know, you can't really be as exact as you can with your fingers. So this works nicely to switch between head tracking and joystick tracking using a little uh, integrated circuit to switch between them. Hopefully we can get to some fighting here so you can see it in action. But it's very natural running in the correct direction. And little head movements, you know, work nicely. So we can get down with some action here.
That's a nice kill. Catching the flag. Bad guys. Somebody shooting at me, so it's stuck in here. Disabled, but couldn't kill him. And that is head dragging. Thanks for watching.